السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله In this lesson, we'll be discussing nouns that are memnu' min al-sarf So what are nouns that are memnu' min al-sarf? Nouns that are memnu' min al-sarf is a group of nouns which are prevented memnu' min from al-sarf tanween Al-sarf in this context means tanween So in a very brief sense, memnu' min al-sarf are a group of nouns which are going to not be able to take tanween or cannot take a tanween now, there are many different groups of nouns that fall into the larger category of memnu' min al-sarf. In this lesson, I'll just briefly go over some of them, but there are many more. So, what are some of these groups of nouns, which cannot take a tanween, which fall under the umbrella term of memnu' min al-sarf? Some groups of words that are memnu' min al-sarf. We have feminine proper nouns. So, proper nouns are nouns of things that are, you know, proper, that are clear, that are have a capital letter, if you will, in English. So nouns of people, nouns of places, nouns of countries. If these nouns are feminine, so they're referring to something that's feminine, then they're going to be memnu' min al which means that they're never going to take a tanwin at the end. So for example, Aisha too, which is the name of a person. Zainabu, which is the name of a person. Mecca too, which is the name of a location, of course. Medina too, which is the name of a city. Medina to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this goes on. So all these nouns are memnu' min al because they're feminine proper nouns. Another group of nouns which are also memnu' min al are masculine proper nouns that end with a ta marbuta. So for example, usamatu. Usamatu is a noun, is the name of a man, but it ends with a ta marbuta. So it's a masculine proper noun that ends with a ta marbuta, so it's memnu' min al So I'm only going to say usamatu, usamata, but never usamatan or usamatun. Hamzatu, same thing. So any proper masculine noun that ends with Tamar Buta. Likewise, the third group are non-Arabic proper nouns. So non-Arabic proper nouns. So nouns that are proper, so they refer to you know specific people or specific places, so nouns of countries and things like that. If they're non-Arabic, then it's also going to be Memnur Minasar. So Pakistanu, for example. Uh, America, for example. Ibrahimu, for example. Ishaqu. All the names of the Prophet except for those that are Arabs, and a few exceptions, they're all memnu' min al-sarf. So they cannot take a tanun at the end. So I'm always going to say Pakistan or Pakistana, never Pakistanan or Pakistanun or Yusufun, and then this goes on. Because they're non-Arabic proper nouns. So these are some groups of nouns that are all under the umbrella of memnu' min al-sarf, which are a group of nouns which are prevented from tanun.